For some kids, going home uh, decreased their stress, and for other kids, going home increased their stress. From substance abuse to screen time, a new survey is offering a fascinating glimpse into the minds of Utah teenagers. Now, the survey is given to students across Utah every two years. Fox 13's Ben Winslow breaks down the data. Across Utah, students in grades 6, 8, 10, and 12 are asked about their lives in the Student Health and Risk Prevention Survey. This year, more than 70,000 students in 40 of Utah's 41 public school districts responded anonymously. Here's what the state found. We saw, with one exception, all substances the last 30 days go down. But when it comes to mental health, the trend shows over the past 10 years an increase in suicidal thoughts, planning, or attempts. There are more students who are not talking to someone about their emotions, and we want to continue to destigmatize that. Utah teens reported an increase in cyberbullying over previous years. That didn't surprise researchers. Knowing that we saw more students in the last year online than we did previously, we would expect to see a little bit more. They're also spending a lot more time on their phones, tablets, and computers. Going from sixth grade at 66.0% up to 12th grade, which is 87.4%. This is two or more hours on Xbox, PlayStation, texting, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, not for schoolwork. This year, the state asked about the COVID-19 pandemic, and the results show it had a big impact on Utah's youth. 27% of all those surveyed reported getting COVID. Nearly 7% had someone in their home lose a job because of the pandemic. Almost 2% went hungry, about 15% had increased family problems because of COVID, and one-third of all youth surveyed reported feeling sad, anxious, or hopeless. COVID does have a significant impact on our kids. We want to keep monitoring long-term what that impact could be and make sure that we're supporting kids getting back to healthy behaviors, healthy relationships, and make sure they're supported at home in their schools and their communities. Racial and ethnic minority groups did see bigger impacts, but all of this data is helpful for policymakers here on Capitol Hill. What they can do is use it to direct money and resources to help teens and their families. That's something that a community can look to address. How can we reduce stress on a family? On the Hill, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.